Oh, hi. Um, don't mind me. I'm just... Ah! Jesus Christ! Get them out! everyone and welcome to my channel my name is dodgy and today we are continuing with outlast um if you hear my dog barking in the background uh the mailman is probably outside or probably ups i don't i don't know but she is the best guard dog that is for sure and she never quiets down so long as there's somebody outside the house <laughs> with that being said guys grab your snack grab your beverage of choice grab your stuffy and let's get on with the show Hey, here we are. All right, so this is where we left off. We got thrown from up top from uh, the big bad, big big bad piggy guy. So, all right, and we gotta we gotta find something. Um, I'm not sure what we gotta find. So, um, I'm sure, I could probably look it up in my files. There has to be a way to like find out what the objective is, right? Like without. Um, looking it up from a tutorial. <laughs> I'm gonna try really hard, guys, not to look up anything. Mm. And we know batteries are important. So be on the lookout for any batteries, and if I miss any, you can yell at me in the comment section, for sure. Oh, there's a guy out there. Well, he's dead. Poor boy. I'm inside. Bodies everywhere. Blood. Burn marks. Heads lined up like bottles behind a bar. Dead Murkoff scientists hung from the ceiling. Their badges say Murkoff Advanced Research System. Murkoff's longtime MO has been to profit off the exploitation of supposed charity. Up the third world and bankroll another billion. How did Murkoff think they would make money off a building full of crazy people? There's some kind of tactical cop pinned like a pig on a spit. Tells me to get the fuck out and then dies. Would have been a good thing to hear when I could still leave the way I came. Oh, okay, he's talking about the guy. Okay, he's talking about the guy that I just saw that was literally. He literally had to stick up his ass. Wait, what's this? Is this new? Uh, I don't. What is this? We are satisfied that the affidavits and testimonies establish sufficient evidence to require urgent action on the part of MHS and grounds for the insurance of this warrant. You are hereby required to grant MHS full access to all facilities and surrounding complete authority, surrendering, surrender complete authority to its agents by accepting of this document, you and any surviving relatives surrender all claims of lit 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 litigation. I don't know why that word was so difficult to spit out. Litigation against the Murkoff Corp or its subs subsidiaries for the actions of MHS or the circumstances which requires their actions regardless of responsibility. Interesting. Okay, so. All right, we got a guy. He's alive. He is alive down there. Okay. Can't go this way. Is that the fan or is somebody walking? Okay, this is locked. There's water here. Did that move? 
That is moving. Hey! I can see you too, buddy. Oh! Okay. I'm bad feeling. Oh, yeah. Witness. Witness to what? What did he witness? Just trying to, just trying to record everything. There's body parts everywhere. Oh, who shut the door? Who shut the door? That wasn't nice. Um, don't tell me I'm locked in here. That wouldn't be cool. supposed to go down this way okay, this door needs to the store needs a key okay okay it's a big ass room. Ooh! Ooh, that looked painful. That looks painful! Let's see, what's this? The witness! Okay. I'm already beat to all hell, picking the broken glass out of my scalp. A couple cracked ribs, nearly killed by a deformed giant. Looks like somebody tried to fuck start his head with a cheese grater. He throws me through a wall, knocks me unconscious. I wake up to some doughy old man with a face like an alcoholic kitty fiddler in a homemade priest outfit. Calls me his apostle. Not a job I asked for. There are words scrawled in blood everywhere. I'm getting an ugly feeling in my gut that the priest is writing them and for my benefit. I feel like that's a clue. That sounds like a clue. Are these, do they come in, 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 like I feel like these are coming at the same time. So, uh, from Helen Grant. Dear sirs, the full report pending, no immediate action is required on the part of the Murkoff Corporation the profit potential of Project Wallrider remains staggeringly high. The four fatalities contain enough ambiguous data to make any litigation, if evidence is correctly managed, impossible. Project Wallrider remains a dangerous initiative, and there will almost certainly be further casualties. As with the others, however, Family and government interest in the patients is so low as to make any chance of legal action vanishingly unlikely. Violence among patients is increasing as the morphogenic engine therapy gets closer to producing working models. But a combination of physical and chemical restraints has proven sufficiently effective to assure continued control and profit. Respectfully, Helen Grant. I'm just standing in his own pool of blood. That's fantastic. Can I escape through the window? I would definitely try to escape through the window if I could. Oh. 
course I can't go that way. Okay. So there has to be another way. Alright, so I can't go down. I can't use the elevator, right? story. Well, that didn't help. Um, there is a person down that hole. Proclaim the gospel? Do you have a key? Can I get the radio? can't even use the radio. Like, wouldn't you be- well, I guess you wouldn't be able to just throw a chair, right? breathing funny. Oh look, I made footprints of blood. Bloody footprints. Case number 160... Wow, my dyslexia is kicking in. Uh, case number 136. Patient CLW Walker, age 32, male. Walker was interviewed in restraints following his self-inflicted mutilations restraint have have to be altered to accommodate his enormous size oh okay his enormous size wait his enormous size so walker 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 must have been the guy that threw me okay extensive dermal endorphins as consistent with failed morphogenic engine cellular activities he claims the skin ripped from his forehead allows for truer way of seeing seems to have boyhood experience with totter lizards and their par 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 partal partal eyes i don't know he has expressed anxiety about his flesh specifically around his lips and nose Attending orderlies should be advised to watch for further self-mutilation. The mental traumas he sustained while serving in Afghanistan seems to be retarding progressions of the ME process. His predominant fixation amplified by therapy is a manic exaggeration of military security protocol. A continuation of both chemical and physical restraints is highly recommended. So he a big boy. Big scary boy. Peek. I'm peeking. Alright, buddy. I know that you're you're moving. I'm gonna try and stay away from you. Okay. You stay there, buddy. Oh, okay. Hello. Y'all enjoying the the telly? Y'all are all peaceful, right? You're not gonna You're not gonna try and attack me, right? Um let me let me just sneak by ya. Oh my. Oh my. Okay. Don't mind me, guys. You just keep enjoying your television. Um, lady, 
please, can you get out of my ear, please? I'm asking nicely. Thank you. Oh, how convenient. A key card. Cool. Thank you. I needed that. Um, collect objects. Wait, did I, did I miss something? Oh, a crowd of broken men watching a dead channel. They look like patients. They survived whatever happened here, but nobody's home. Maybe they see something. Maybe they're watching, you know, Jerry Springer or something. You never know. I don't think Jerry Springer is actually a thing anymore. I think he retired. Isn't he a judge now? I think he's he's some kind of judge. It's like one of those fake judges. I feel like they give like a judge TV to anybody at this point. Did did that TV just scream? Did y'all hear that? I feel like I heard the TV screaming. Alright, don't mind me. Oh, hi. Um, don't mind me. I'm just oh, God, Jesus Christ! Get them out! Please! Get them Get off of me, bro! Yeah, you crawl away. Crawl away in shame. Crawl away in shame. Hide in your little box. It was rude. My god. I I knew something was up with that guy. He was a little bit too suspicious. I think I grabbed everything I needed, right? God, there's just so much. So much to look at. I'm trying not to... Trying not to dilly dally. Uh, no, you can look. Wait. Wait, you can. You can. What? I. Oh! Oh, I didn't know I could do that! Okay, alright, so. Uh, we have a key. I think we use it for here, right? Okay. All right, let me in. Let me in. Shut that door. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. They lie. Why am I breathing so hard? Breathing so hard, it's making me nervous. Oh, oh, there's the pastor or preacher. Oh, that's not good. Hide, hide. Um. Okay, okay, ooh, okay. If I'm gonna die, I'm gonna have my death recorded. You didn't smell nothing, piggy man. Oh, don't look in here, don't look in here, okay. No, 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 no. Oh, and he is nude. He is nude. Go away, Mr. Piggy Man. Okay. I feel like I'm gonna get stuck here. Do you leave? Or is he gonna come back? Okay. The trumpet 
The trumpet has left. So I think I'm safe. He turned off all the lights. All right, it's 9.15. I don't know if this time actually moves, so we're going to keep track. So it's 9.15 according to that. Is Piggy Man gonna be here? Did Piggy Man go somewhere? I don't like this. I mean, not that I don't mind the silence. Oh! Oh, he came down here. Great. This is fun. This is real fun. How did he fit through here? How did he fit through here? There was no way that he fit through here. I mean, come on. Let's be realistic, guys. Just sneak over here again um, and read that. Let me read that real quick. <laughs> big fucking guy. The big <laughs> is stalking me. Found a patient file for a Chris Walker, ex-military police. Several tours in Afghanistan. A lot of the blood in this place is on his hands. But not all of it. A post-hypnotic of the night before, pointed finger, you will sleep, was encanted. Mrs. Jackson and Pierce immediately progress to a deep hypnotic state with no further suggestion. Miss Pierce was then instructed, having previously expressed a fear of firearms in any fashion, that she would use every method at her disposal to awake Miss Jackson now in a deep hypnotic sleep. And failing this, she would pick up a nearby pistol and fire it at Miss Jackson. She was instructed at her range would be so great that she would not hesitate to kill Jackson for failing to awaken. Miss Pierce carried out these suggestions to... The letter included firing the unloaded pistol at Jackson and then proceeding to fall into a deep sleep. After proper suggestions were made, both were awakened and expressed complete amnesia for the entire sequence. Miss Pierce was again handed the gun, which she refused, in awakened state, to pick up or accept from the operator. She expressed absolute denial that the foreign sequence had happened. Okay, I don't like this. Um, I don't know if I use the battery, if I can use, if I'm using up the battery by, um, Who's there? nobody. Nobody is here. Oh my god. I don't like this. Is there somebody here? I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Um.
There's a button. Okay. Can I hide? Oh, I can! I can hide under here. Okay. Alright, so I feel like... I feel like what I'm gonna have to do... Let me shut this door. Press this button. Hide under the bed. I feel like that did something. Yes. Yes. Somebody's coming. Somebody is coming. My heart, my heart rate. Oh. Ooh, he's looking for me. He's looking for me. Okay. Crap, it is way too dark. It is way too dark. Okay. So we know the name of the game now. So pretty much what we're going to have to do is crawl around in the dark and find those generators turn them on and not get caught by that dude with the uh weapon of his choice uh, so uh i'm going to try and make these clips shorter uh not shorter but you know they're not going to be like over 30 minutes long. So this looks like a great place to stop. So that is all the time I have for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give me a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed. And I will see you again in the next one when we take on this terrifying event. I'm not looking forward to it, but yeah, we're going to do it and it's going to be terrifying. So I love you. Don't forget your boobs.